between the Patriots, uh, Red Sox, Celtics, and Bruins, you know, we've developed these plans and tweaked them, and, you know, and so we'll have a lot of officers out on the streets, like the mayor said, and I want to thank my Boston police officers uh, for the job. Not only they do every day, but the sacrifices, uh, and that's one of the drawbacks, believe it or not, of the Patriots winning and being in the Super Bowl is our officers have to come in. Um, and they do a great job that night, and I don't expect anything less on this particular night. Our biggest message is, you know, obviously we want the Patriots to win, uh, but we want if people come out to celebrate responsibly, and more importantly, we don't want anyone hurt. As a result of that, you'll see um, some restrictions in the area, and, and those restrictions have been put out there. Um, you know, we did have a meeting with all the colleges on Monday, in our building, asking for their cooperation. Uh, a letter was emailed by me to all the students in Boston about um, acting responsibly and having a good time and, and go pats. Uh, and we've had multiple meetings with other agencies such as the state police, the FBI, obviously our inter-agencies, uh, uh, Gina Fendaka, Renee, who's here, uh, about a good safety plan. So just be aware. Um, you know, come Sunday night, at the end of the third quarter, um, parking restrictions and road closures are going to go into effect around Kenmore Square. So no one's going to be allowed access um, into Kenmore Square. Um, and, and that would be Beacon, that would be Carmav, uh, um, coming in eastbound, and obviously all along Kilmarnock Street, um, Bay State Road, that whole area will be... Uh, restricted after the third. There'll be parking restrictions also across the city. And I, I want to thank uh, Commissioner Van Daka. You know, so Brighton, around Harvard and Brighton Ave, there'll be a stretch of no parking there because we've had celebrations and people jumping on cars there. Kenmore Square, I said. Hemingway Street area will have restrictions. Not, obviously, down around the TD North will have restrictions and down around Quincy Market. Wherever we have a lot, a lot of bars and a lot of college areas, we'll have some parking restrictions. Again, it's not to inconvenience so much as it is to just make sure our, our, our fans and, and the kids come out and we don't have vandalism and anybody getting hurt at all. Uh, I will tell you, if you're coming down to uh, Kenmore Square and you're going to the bars, at the end of the third, if you don't have your car out of those parking lots, you're going to be come out of those parking lots. We've already made outreach to those parking lots. They're aware of it. I've seen signs up wanting the fans, but again, that's just to not let fans drive out into a crowd that might be celebrating out in, um, Kem in Kenmore Square. Again, we don't anticipate any issues. Uh, they, when they beat Arizona, we had no issues. When they beat Seattle, we didn't. But this plan has worked very well. I also want to thank uh, Commissioner uh, Pogini from the Licensing Commission. We've been working with a lot of the licensed premise in the bars, and we've asked them to cooperate. So um, um, starting Sunday night and going through the weekend, we'll have our licensing unit out um, speaking to the bars, warning them about overcrowding, warning them about overconsumption. Um, asking for their cooperation that when they re reach capacity that they end the line and ask patrons to go other, way, other places. But if you're in that restricted area, at the end of the third, if there's a line out front, you're going to be asked to move out of the restricted area. We will not be putting anything on windows uh, like we have in years past to restrict viewing if people are in line. And obviously we're not going to restrict the media at all from going in that area. The only thing we will restrict from the media is their trucks being in that ground zero because we don't want your trucks uh, being vandalized. So some of the precautions from years past are in place, but some of them have been obviously lax because we haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, hopefully, again, we have no issues, but just to make you aware, there's going to be plenty of officers in uniform, officers undercover, we will deploy a lot more cameras in these areas so we have good eyes on the crowd. Obviously, we have state police, we have the various college police, everybody helping us to make sure this goes off as well. Our number one goal here is for the Pats to win and nobody get hurt. So